What's up everyone out there at the Martial Art Unlimited Association? This is your man, Coach J.D. Olson, here at my home gym uh, as we lost power in the South Carolina area or as we lost power here in the area. So what I have for you guys is what we're gonna do, uh, what we call core workout. We have a 10 core boxing punches along with 10 different core exercises. So we're gonna do 10 punches of each type along with 20 of the ab or the core exercise. We're gonna work all four sides of our core today. Let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so as promised, we're gonna do our 10 core punches along with 20 of our core exercises. So for the very first punch, we're gonna work on the jab. So I'm here in my boxing lead. I did go southpaw stance for the camera so you guys can see me. So you guys just gonna have to mirror me right at home. You guys would put your left foot in front, your right leg in the back if you are right hand dominant. And then you'll have your hands up, your feet will be nice and wide, and you're gonna throw 10 of this lead punch. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So again, slight step forward, just throwing that lead punch. And traditionally we turn our hand up upside down when we first started punching, but today I'm just gonna go horizontal like it should be when you're sparring. Then now that leads us to our 10 crunches. So I'm gonna lay it down. <laughs> and so here we go. Or 20, sorry, 20 crunches. One, two, three, four. 10. And 20. Remember to get up in base. All right, second punch coming at you. The cross, the rear handed punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Or 10, I mean. And 10. Now, 10 or 20, jeez, 20 leg lifts. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay. Now we are on to our ten of the lead hook. So hands are here. Hook one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Remember when you throw your hook punch? It comes out and it's like a piston in a car engine. It's gonna go just past the center line of your face and then it returns. So it goes pop and it just pops right in there. All right, we're on to our side crunches. So I turn sideways. Remember getting up in base. Now, rear uppercut. Remember, bob and weave. Throw the uppercut, palm should be facing you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Since this is a workout, you could also do a, low, a lower squat to get a squat, to get your legs worked out too. All right, other side crunches. One, two, three, four. Lead uppercut. So moving on now, we're on to our lead uppercut. So this time I weave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 20 or 10. Jeez, I can't count today for numbers. I apologize. Now we're moving on to our side leg lifts. There we go. Sheesh. All right. So, base now rear hook so here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and again just realize I'm not punching all the way across my body it just hits and resets other leg lifts other side here we go Okay. So now we're moving on to the lead shovel hook. So again, I slip. A shovel hook is in between. It's not a hook. It's not an uppercut. It's in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back crunches time. Okay, overhands. Here we go. One. Remember to have that elbow up nice and high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So again, hand comes up, and this is hitting. So if the shovel hook was hitting here, this is hitting the opposite line. Oh, rope side crunches again, but the other tight. So you put the leg up. One, two, three, Now the other punch. So you just did this, you just did this, now you're gonna go on the shovel hook or the overhand on the other side. You're gonna overhand on the lead side now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Crunches on the opposite side. Opposite side. And our last punch, your rear shovel hook. So now I slip, and I'm gonna shovel hook on that opposite side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And our last exercise, our last exercise is gonna be the 20 flutter kicks. Remember, these are four count flutter kicks, so there's gonna be a lot of them, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, 
Well, there you guys have it. You guys just finished the 10 and 20, 10 by 20 core workout. You did the 10 core punches along with 20 core exercises. Hopefully your midsection is a little bit sore. If it's not, or as you get better at this, you wanna do this workout again, you could always increase the core exercises. And then you can put these in the combinations as well. So you could do 10 of the jab, 10 of the cross, then 20 or 10 of the jab cross, and then 10 of the lead hook, 10 of the rear uppercut, and then put those together and so on and so on. Awesome. Well, do me a favor, if you like the workout, hit the like button. If you like what you see on our channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And then last but not least, hit that bell icon so you know the next video is coming out from myself here at Kishi Dojo Martial Arts or for all of us here at the Martial Arts Association. You guys stay safe, keep training. This is JD and I'm out.